How is up, y'all? It's Papa was cracking it. Steve Boss Reacts to this video. title is Nara Smith, okay? Fans are concerned about her bizarre relationship with Lucky Blue Smith. Oh, okay. Let's see what people have to say about her and her her husband. Let's watch. Is Nara Smith okay? She has three kids with her husband, Lucky Blue Smith, and she's only 23 years old. She's been gaining a lot of attention on TikTok with her creepy videos and her husband's <laughs> concerning <laughs> behavior. So let's get into it. I'm excited to dive into this video because I am intrigued by Nara Smith. She is 23 years old. She has a bunch of older. kids. She's oh, married wow. to a model and she makes everything from scratch. I'm sure you guys have seen her TikToks where she's making gum from scratch or really anything you could imagine. And it seems like she lives a very peculiar life. This article reads that Nara is arguably one of TikTok's most talked about creators right now, having found fame on the platform thanks to her cooking videos in which she's often in dressed and makes everything entirely from scratch including bread butter and cheese and because everything is so perfect and pristine people are interested in her life I mean how can this be real now Nara was born on September 27th 2001 in South Africa where her mother is from at three months old she and her parents moved to Germany as her father is German and she grew up in the city and lived there until she was 18 in her TikTok she described herself as a model who was first signed at the age of 14 now, when she was 18, she moved to California, despite never have visiting before. She continued her career there and ended up signing to IMG, which is the same agency as her now husband, Lucky Blue Smith. Nara said in a TikTok that she met Lucky through her modeling career when she moved to LA. The two got married on February 21st, 2020. She said, the boy who stole my heart, I married my best friend today. Now, the pair have welcomed three children since then, including their daughter, Rumble Honey, and their son, Slim Easy. Slim Easy, what an interesting name. They announced the birth of their third daughter, Whimsy Lou Smith, which is actually pretty cute, in April 2024. Lucky also has his daughter, Gravity Blue. We've talked about Gravity Blue before on this channel because I can't believe her mother, Brie, thought that Gravity would be a good name because, you know, you don't want to be big boned and named a Gravity. Nobody wants to be that girl or boy or anyone. I don't want to be that big ass gravity like no i don't want to sit next to gravity they're too big Ooh, that hurts nara who gave birth to her three children before that the age of 23 shared in march 2024 that she always wanted to be a young mom saying that she was never really interested in the partying lifestyle she said growing up my dad would always tell us regrets he had having kids later in life so i took that advice and it's one of the best decisions i could have ever made i know it's not for everyone which is pretty cool because she'll be around a lot longer for her children's lives like shit i can see i mean excuse my language but i can see nara like being a great grandmother great 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 grandmother in meeting her grandkids though she originally had plans to be a marine biologist she said her plans shifted and now she focuses on cooking and social media what a life now nara's recipes aren't just the average like chicken a vampire. she makes like in Twilight or something. Doesn't he give that vibe? Media. What a life. Now, Nara's recipes aren't just the average chicken parmesan. She makes these elaborate meals for her husband and her kids, and actually her husband eats so much. She posts videos of her making cinnamon toast crunch from scratch, or making homemade bagels and cream cheese, which I do love making homemade bagels. I've done that before. Here's an example of what kind of content she's posting. The other day when my husband and I were talking about our childhood favorite candies, he mentioned that he was obsessed with chocolate. Jolly Ranchers, but he hasn't had them in a while, so I decided to make him some today. His favorite flavors are apple and watermelon, so that's what we went with. Now, for her fans, people love how Nara does this kind of ASMR technique, cooking recipes from scratch and, you know, just following along with the process. It's it's aesthetic. It's actually led to her getting brand deals like this one, where she baked Lord. a cake that looks just like a Marc Jacobs bag, which is Pretty cool. I've been craving a delicious red Marc Jacobs tote bag since I woke up. So instead of going to the store to buy one, I thought I'd make it myself. Popped it in the oven and baked it for about an hour. When I went to the oven to check on my tote, it was perfectly presented bread, so I took it out to cool. It tasted so much better than a shop bought tote bag. This one really hits the spot. Now, I've set the scene, and you guys have a good idea of who Nara Smith is. So, now let's talk about why people are concerned about her. Some people are asking if she's okay, especially after a recent TikTok video of Lucky holding her neck in a very uncomfortable way. 
went viral. Here's the moment everyone's talking about, and it's a little ominous. I mean, looking at this frame, it's kind of scary to see that she's there. This little Get out that goddamn business. I had a boyfriend who used to do that to me. Uh, you know, it's not a big deal. Like, well, y'all are weird, bro. People are fucking weird, and y'all are so, like stuck in your own bubbles and what you think is normal and how you live your life you don't understand there's a whole world out there where people behave differently they do things differently they have different views on life that doesn't mean that there's a problem you fucking weirdos they just live differently but it doesn't mean that she's being abused or he's you know throwing her around or choking her like are y'all he might be choked <laughs> Her another way. Anyway, mind your business is the point. That's a weird thing to be concerned by. Explain to her lingerie with her machinery, and this man's hand is just out here controlling her neck. Take a look at the video for yourself. My husband doesn't cook, but he bakes. When we got home late last night and I asked him to make me some cookie dough, he said he would only if I made us some vanilla ice cream to go with it. For the Movertail wire rack. While the last batch of cookies were baking, I churned my ice cream until it hit soft serve consistency. So it seems harmless, right? I mean, I think you and I can agree that the neck grab is a little bit oh unnecessary. God. This person commented, the business. neck grab? And she replied, so no one's husband does that? Question mark. Now you guys know, I've been making videos for a bit now, and I remember doing a video about Beyonce and Jay-Z and body language and how when someone has their hand over their neck like this, it not signifies something. Now, I'm not a body language expert. Expert, exactly. But on Google, it says grabbing someone's neck. Especially oh, Google, so reliable. Google, I'm gonna also tell you got cancer if your stomach hurts. Video so, cooking is not, not normal or acceptable. This action could be interpreted mm -hmm. as a display of dominance or control, an attempt to intimidate or threaten, or a sign of potential abusive behavior. Neck grabbing is particularly alarming because the neck is a vulnerable area of the body. Such action can be seen as a form of physical aggression, even to cause harm a mouthful but i want to hear what you guys think of that in the comments below i, I love this weird. response context is crucial it's important to note without full context of the video and the couple's relationship it's exactly. difficult to make any conclusions exactly. however grabbing at someone's neck is generally not considered playful or affectionate behavior especially to in a you. public setting like a tiktok to video you. this type of behavior if reoccurring could be a red flag in a relationship physical aggression even if it's not causing immediate harm can escalate over time wow this answer really went in i found one post on reddit that reads something is not okay with nara smith it reads am i the only one who has the feeling that there's something not right with nara and lucky simply i have the feeling that she's not feeling the happiest and that they were in a hurry to start a big family i mean she's barely over 20 years old and why the hell is she cooking everything herself when they have enough money to hire people to do it i have a feeling that she will have oh, two so more children stupid. by the time she's 25 and i think lucky is doing to her what stormy Bree did to him Who? what do you guys think about that i think you need a life and you need to go outside and experience the world for yourself you saying why does she cook everything herself are you slow if y'all think that this woman is at home cooking every single meal y'all are dumb okay this is content this is her job they probably eat out every night <laughs> she making these videos for fucking tiktok this woman probably don't ever cook outside of that or she might you know she because i feel like this did start off as like a hobby but then she saw that people were outraged and giving her a lot of attention she's like okay let me get more ridiculous with it so i feel like it, it, it probably did start from a place of her actually liking to cook so you know she she may cook for her family every now and then but to think oh she's slaving in the kitchen cooking every single meal and cooking for all these tiktoks let's let's be serious but you just made up this whole story in your head about this woman who you don't know. This is a sickness and a mental illness. And y'all need lives and to go outside. That's, that's what I think. You ask me what I think, that's what I think. Now, there are a lot of people who are embracing Nara for being Absolutely. a mother and enjoying motherhood and cooking and not feeling shameful of this. Because while I think we're in an era where, like, you know, we want women to have the same rights, you know, she's trying to do something kind of differently. But it's still not really sticking with people. Many people agree that she is conveying an unhealthy and unrealistic expectation of being a mother and a wife. Almost trying to push herself into this perfect mother position that no one really wants to exist in. And while she's probably done a lot more in her life That's by the age of 23, I think we can all acknowledge that 23 is still very young. Nice. This They're TikToker, the Be Better company, actually broke down Nara's situation and how it's engaging with people, people's perception of her brand and her reputation. And he did a great job doing this, even though he's got his own scandals. <laughs> 
You know, we can collect those all day long if you guys wanted to. Ooh. But here's his breakdown of her image. So when you combine this lack of social media literacy, which really just refers to someone's ability to consume and digest content in a thoughtful, mindful way that is understanding the reality that what they are seeing is fake and has financial incentives behind it, combining that with this amazing illusion that Nara Smith has crafted for herself, we enter very People dangerous territory in what that's this could be doing and the implications that this could have for younger women. So really, the issue isn't with Nara Smith herself, but with the fact that so many young women consume and perceive her content at face value with no critical understanding that behind every video that we've seen of Well they need to go out in the real world and gather some some critical thinking skills. <laughs> Cause if you can't understand that this is not real life, then that's on you. And I, I get how initially that would make you feel like, oh, you know, she's doing all of this and I'm not able to cook for my family. But I feel like the more videos you see, it should become blatantly clear that she's just doing this for content. She's not, whatever. Nara Smith, there are a team of people, there is a stylist, there is a management, there's an agency, there are nannies that allow her to have this effortless, seamless life, but that's never shown. If that were shown, she wouldn't have a brand. So I'm not criticizing Nara Smith, but there are real world implications with the type of content that we consume. And we need proof of this. Look at how many women, millennial women specifically, have gotten on TikTok and spoken about the fact that they regret having children. And while it's extremely easy to just demonize them and say, well, that's an awful thing to say, it takes a critical eye and a thoughtful person to think, but okay, how did they get there? Were they misinformed of the realities and the complexities of having children? And aren't we doing society a disservice by presenting such an idealistic and completely unrealistic idea of what it means to be a mother and what it means to have children for 99% of people, which is what Nara Smith's content is. Now we brought up Stormy Bree already in this video, who is Lucky Blue's ex and the mother of his firstborn child. <laughs> Gravity. Now this Reddit post brings up Stormy Bree, saying Lucky Blue Smith is so weird. The timeline of when he got with Nara is odd. She was a minor when he found her a few years ago and messaged her. She was clearly a fan of his, so he had more power. He was dating a 26 year old when he was 18, so history repeats itself, I guess. Which this is bizarre because I feel like Nara said that they met while she moved to LA. She was an adult, they met through the agency, so when would have they met prior? Now Stormy Bree was 26 years old when she got with an 18 year old Lucky, and in my opinion, there is some grooming aspects to it, especially because she met him before he was 18. In March 2017, Lucky announced on Instagram that he and Stormy were expecting their first child together. At this point, he was just freshly 18. The age difference and Lucky Blue's young age at the time and becoming a father likely contributed to a lot of public scrutiny and backlash, which I feel like kind of pushed him away from the limelight. I remember like back in this time, 2016, 2017, he was the it boy, but then fatherhood took him away. Back in 2016, at the height of his popularity, his sister here would introduce him to someone. Enter in Stormy Bree. Now everybody says that he was 17 when they got together, but I have a DM that says he was definitely 18 and she was 26 at the time. Although, I don't think this was a very serious relationship, but the baby they would have together would make it feel a lot more serious. So they get together in 2016, but by February 2018, they're over. And it was completely deemed controversial, and Stormy would be dragged. On this channel, we have talked about how bad yeah, behaviors tend to repeat life. themselves, so could this be another case of that? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let's go ahead and open this peel box now. Sure. He's still on some nonsense. <laughs> I haven't read this long in a minute. Um, I feel like because of this, no shade to him, because I mean, some of his videos I do enjoy, but sometimes it's like, bruh, y'all are just grasping at straws at this point. Like, let this woman live her life and do her to say that, oh, something's up, mm, something sinister is happening <laughs> within this relationship. Y'all don't know her. You don't know these people. So it's just bizarre behavior, but for sure. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next one. Bye.